Welcome back, boys and girls. Alrighty, so here we are at the next part of the song, or whatever you want to call this challenge, missing song. So we're just basically heading south, southwest of the, uh, what is that, Hebra Tower there. And we're just going to fly off to the left of that village ruin there. And we're looking for a pre-lit campfire in, on this ledge coming up. Now, if it's not already nighttime in your game, you're going to have to make it nighttime. So, uh, kind of nice of them to already give you a campfire here. And there will be a, a Rito standing out here. You can talk to him or not. It's really up to you. But uh, long story short, din dinner roll will be here soon. And for you guys missing a couple of early game weapon pictures, you can take the pictures of the weaponry this dude's holding. A swallow bow and a feathered spear, I believe. And while we're waiting, you've got some luminous stones back here you can take advantage of, if you so choose. Oops. And I always say, walk, don't run, spam the A button on these things. Because you never know when you might find some free uh, bladed rhino beetles perched on these things. Well, no luck today, but you never know. Sometimes they're there. And you got yourself a rare deposit. How do you get amber out of a rare deposit? Isn't that just a regular ore deposit? Programmers? Huh? Huh? Just saying. Alright, not complaining. Alright, so, as you can see, the horns are glowing a different color. So really, when he gets to about here, I just kind of go on out, and you'll get an updraft as soon as you get rather close to him. And this is where the Phonix bow or the golden bow will be very, very helpful. So all you really got to do is shoot the horns. They will activate your next shrine. Now, in case you're wondering, you can still collect the monster part, uh, the horn shard, Dinral's horn shard. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just kind of float here for a second and see where it goes. And then I'll go activate my travel gate on the shrine just to save time having to climb back up on the on to the top of the canyon. Okay, so you saw the piece of the horn shard jet away from his horn there. And it's actually going toward the shrine anyway. Uh, sometimes that horn shard will actually go the other way and go all the way down to the bottom of the canyon floor there. So we actually lucked out today and it's very, very conveniently located on the way to the shrine anyway. Sweet! Oh, and don't forget your picture at dinner roll, just in case you don't already have it. Is that a Dragon Bone Moblin Club? You guys already know I'm going to get that. Alright, so here's our shrine, just for the map reference there. I guess we don't need that anymore. Uh, that's where it ends up uh, showing itself. Alright, another fun shrine. I really like these updraft type shrines. Let's not blow ourselves up in the process. So you could actually just throw the bomb onto the updraft. That's another way to do it. I'll demonstrate that real quick, just in case you don't have any bomb arrows handy. Of course, I kind of jumped the gun on that. Just uh, lob the bomb. It'll eventually make its way up high enough, and you can detonate it and blow up your wall that way. All right, so self-explanatory. Round bomb in funnel. Same kind of deal. Alright, so once again, you can do the funnel and the air thing, or just use a bomb arrow. And uh, on this one, 
when the windmill is spinning, the trap door will kind of block your way. So as you can see, that windmill needs to completely stop spinning for you to have a clear shot to that doohickey. So what I like to do is, uh, as soon as it passes and aims the wind, I will use stasis and freeze that bad boy. Alright, moving right along. Actually, there is a treasure chest in here. Right over there. So at this point, you can just fly over there and get it. But then, of course, you're going to have to do the uh, spinny thingy down there again and get yourself back to this point. Uh, from what I remember, all the treasure chests in these shrines were really, like, crappy stuff. Uh, really disappointed in the treasure chests in these challenge shrines overall. But uh, it is what it is. It's there if you so desire. Alright, folks, so when we come back, we'll take care of the third and final... Uh, part of the missing song.